Hi, welcome to Collegiate Star League SC2 Replay. My name is RacerX Asian, and I'm here with The Punisher. And that's me. We're here to cast a ZVT between Waterloo University and Arizona State. Here for Arizona State, we have Atriox spawning as the Orange Terran in the 3 o'clock position. And for Waterloo, we have the Red Zerg, Humble, spawning at the 12 o'clock position. We see that Humble currently is in the Masters League with 3,164 points with a 57% win-loss ratio in 650 one versus one league games. For Atrioc, we've got... He's got a... And he's, he's also in the Masters League, sorry, with 2,249 points, with a 54% win-loss ratio in 302 one versus one league games. Currently, Waterloo is ranked 2 in the Phoenix Division with 10 wins and 1 loss, and Arizona State is also in the Phoenix Division with 8 wins and 4 losses. Well, Humble was just complaining that he minimized the screen, so I hope he didn't screw up his build there. But at the beginning, you see he actually scouted the Terran right at the beginning. So you, as for the Terran build, you can see that he built a supply depot like up his ramp. So this opens for two options. First, he can put a barracks, right, which is what he's doing now, and he can put a factory over at the other location. Or he can put another barracks, so he can put a two barracks aggression. This build is this building placement is actually really good because it actually uh, prevents bailing bus because if the bailings walk up, they have to walk that extra distance to reach the supply depot, which is the easily most weakest building of three. And you see, it's actually going for two barracks. So as a Zerg player for myself, I really am vulnerable to this build because if you go for that fast hatchery, which Humble is not going right now. Marines, uh, he can bring Marines and SCBs and build bunkers and give a very aggressive opening to his build. It is lucky that Humble actually scouts this, so he might want to put up a spine collar or put up some early links and get early speed. So we just see the hatchery going up now at the 14 uh, supply mark. Also, we see that they're all going very standard builds. We got the 14 hatch, 14 extractor, 14 pool, as well as the orbital command coming for the orange Terran right here. Well, the Marine is actually trying to skip the Overlord, but the Overlord is not going to die. Too epic to die. So let's see how Humble is going to react like this. He is currently building a drone, a Overlord, a Queen, and he's actually got the speed going. So he actually transferred the workers from his gas to his mineral patch. So he's going to get the extra mills to produce more Zerglings. Very smart. And currently we have about, wow, the Terran's actually ahead in, I guess, harvest service right now with 17 oh, and SCVs. He's going to push up now with two SCVs and three Marines. He's going to actually do some damage and Humble scouts this and he's going to actually produce some Zerglings. I'm hoping we see some Zerglings and he's going to pull drones pull drones off the line. Oh no, we're going to have the, the Terran's going to place the bunker soon. I'm guessing, oh, there goes the bunker. He must kill that SCB building the bunker or it's going to be... And he's actually playing all of his drones off the line. Wow, this is this is this is kind of an all in. Like it does not. Oh, with some marine micro, he can just kill off a lot of drones here. And the SCB building bunker is going to go down. Oh, it goes down. Oh, and it goes down. And all the drones go back to mine. Sad times, right there. If you go look at the harvester tab. Oh, we see that red's a bit behind the units lost right now. That's not too bad. Well... Currently, Harvester's got 15 on the red and 18 on the orange, so Terran's a bit ahead right now. Sending out Zerglings to cut off the reinforcing marines, so that is very smart. Well, he's got the, actually got the Terran contained right now with his marines. Marines actually scrambling to go back to his base to prevent. Well, you should lift up, lift up the supply depot right now, lift it up, lift it up. Oh, and the Zerg's gonna get run by. No, he's not. Go in, go in. No, he just you can't decide, man. <laughs> oh, oh, my god. Too late, late, yeah. That might actually cost him the game. Sad times for Orange Terran. Sad times for Arizona State right now. And he killed a lot of SUVs over there. Currently on the units lost, we got, uh, we got about, yeah. Orange is a bit behind now, with 600 resources lost. We 
see some Zerglings up here. Well, going back to this build, a lot of Terrans right now go this build, so they'll put two Grax Aggression, build a Command Center when they are attacking, and then build another two Barracks to block off any offensive attacks from the Zerg. If you look at the income tab right now, the Zerg is pulling way ahead from the Terran. It's because of that second expansion, I think. Pretty much. He's just droning up. Oh, these Zerglings. Oh, they gotta watch what they're doing. The Terran is actually lifting off his command center, so he should probably build a few bunkers there to prevent any harass. Come on, build some bunkers. You need those bunkers. Apparently, he doesn't think so. Whoa. He's actually building a tech lab, a reactor, and two more reactors. So, he's I actually probably going for a marine all in. I smell a mass marine. They're playing awesome engineering thing. So, if there's only one tech lab, I'm only supposing that there might be stim pack or shields coming up. And if it's going to be stim pack, he might. Oh, and there goes the stim pack. So, I'm guessing there's going to be a plus one stim pack timing attack with mass marines. Right now, you see the Zerg is actually going for his third expansion. Oh, and. At the 6 o'clock position, you see Banelings coming out. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Wow, this is gonna be brutal. Oh my god, and... You see the wall is actually... Lit. It's actually gone. He's not walling off anymore. Here comes the Banelings. Oh, oh, sad times. Oh, the Banelings! Killing the wheels! Sad times. At the same time, at the same time you have... Mass Marines attack on the on reserve, but there's too many like... Oh, well, and the aliens too. <laughs> oh, and it's just brutal for the Terran right now. Sad times for Terran. Wouldn't want to be a Terran right now. And Humble actually has two drones following the whole Zergling pack, so I don't know what's that all about. Probably in this one. Are they going to be hero just drones and killers? Zerglings flooding in, and <laughs> this might just be the GG. Maybe if you just put down the bunkers down and maybe, like, probably would have helped, but... Oh, so he's taking the extractors with these big drones. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Drink oh, how water the water. Oh, here we go. Can these marines hold it off? I really don't think so. Agarok says GG. And that's game number one between Arizona State and Waterloo University. Come back for game number two, which will be up in just a few minutes.